Hi, Shiva here. I'm a corporate trainer and a motivational speaker from Hyderabad. I have a couple of questions to ask you before I begin today. How many of you are finding it difficult to go through this logged in period to be logged in the four walls of your home? Another question. Do you think it would be of some value if I give you an inspirational tip that would help you to endure this lock-in period and come out of it successfully? Thank you. A friend of mine who runs a seed business company in Hyderabad sent me a message the other day. He sounded sad and depressed. I could feel his sense of helplessness and his feeling of hopelessness in that message. He appeared to be very much worried about being locked up inside his house. He wondered when would this period of locked in would end? How could people remain within the four walls of the house without being able to go out and do their routine walks? I know. It is not just his problem today. Most of the people are feeling the same. And if you want to know how to endure during this locked in period of another 14 days or maybe even longer, you must listen to this story from Mahabharata. As a part of the deal, in the game of the dice that Yudhishthira played, against Duryodhana. The Pandavas had to leave all of their assets, including the kingdom, their palace, and all of their belongings, and go and live in exile in the forest for 12 years, and also another year of incognito as a part of the whole deal and commitment. Accordingly, the Pandavas went to the forest and lived there logged in, in the forest, not in the comfort of the homes like you and I have now. And for 12 long years, not for a few days, a few months, they went through several ordeals during this period. How could they endure what did they do during this period? The trials and the tribulations they underwent during this period only fortified their strengths and their resilience for them all. They overcame every difficulty they faced during this period with courage and confidence. They took the challenges in their stride and converted them into opportunities. They improved their knowledge they polished their skills. They expanded their network. They gained new weapons. Arjuna, during this period, acquired the celestial weapons as gifted to him by Shiva, Kubera, Varuna, and Indra. He also learned the techniques associated with their usage and the reuse, the release, and the recall. At the end, all these weapons helped the Pandavas win the battle of Kurukshetra and regain their lost kingdom, their wealth and their prosperity. It is quite natural to feel disappointed and distressed during the difficult days. But it is important to understand that the nature itself provides opportunities to recover and bounce back. Nature had a built-in mechanism for this. Just as the nights are followed by days, sunsets by sunrises, and winters by summers. The bad times are followed by the good times. When the brightness comes in, the darkness doesn't exist anymore. It disappears. All that one needs to do during this period is to be patient, to be hopeful, to be bold, and to be determined to endure and to explore the opportunities 
despite the odds and obstacles you are to be resilient and face the challenges with a positive attitude very soon let me tell you you will notice that these very difficulties you are facing today are indeed the blessings in disguise for you believe me the great days are ahead for you but before i close today i want to ask you a couple of questions would you like to be more resilient and endure this difficult period with a smile on your face yes thank you another question would you like to make up your mind and give a thought and write down on a piece of paper what are the things that you're going to do during this period that are going to make you much more powerful much more confident and better equipped to face the future and make it much more successful for you will you thank you you are awesome take good care see you again in my next video